New at noon, 300 kids are getting their chance to shine. Wilson High School in Portsmouth is hosting Special Olympics. That's right. So the competition, preschoolers through sixth graders with special needs on hand to help high school students with intellectual disabilities and also military service members are there to help. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens has that story. At the Special Olympics, everyone is a winner. This is the way the world should be. Hundreds of kids showing what they're made of at Wilson High School in Portsmouth, cheering each other on. Yeah. They call it the Little Feet Meet here at Wilson High. It's all thanks to several organizations, including Special Olympics of Virginia, a sports organization for kids and adults with intellectual disabilities. They have an awesome platform to put these kids up, to kind of lift them up no matter what their disabilities are. The Kinser family is joining in on the fun for the second year in a row. Their four-year-old daughter, Lydia, has a rare genetic disorder. And she likes to cheer her friends on. So if she sees a ball kick, she may not do that, but she'll be clapping for everybody that is. Lydia suffers from epilepsy has low muscle tone, and intellectually, she's about nine months old. And that's really what all of our kids just ask for, is just a place where they can come play, be themselves, and not be judged. The goal behind the Special Olympics is acceptance, whether you have a disability or not. Our special education students need to feel appreciated, and they need to feel like they're contributing, but also our general education students need to feel and understand and appreciate what our um, Special Olympics athletes brings to the community. The Kinsers say they're thankful for programs like these. They're here to help. And they say while it's challenging thinking about the future, they hope the more people they can educate and the more people they can show that differences can be a good thing is a win for everyone. In Portsmouth, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.